Hello everyone and welcome to this first episode in All Classical Music Explained. My name is Rainer Hirsch. Now generally I feel I have to explain classical music because generally people feel it's out of touch and elitist. <laughs> I don't think it's elitist and neither does my butler. Now most people have one chance to play a musical instrument, usually at school, usually one of these, the recorder. A lot of people throw their recorders away at the end of their school time or ruin them by sticking them up their bum and trying to play God Save the Queen. You know who you are. If that's the case, you shouldn't have done because all the world's great music can be played on the humble recorder. Listen to this beautiful example. Yes, if you've still got a recorder at home, here's something you can do with it. Now, the recorder does enable us to begin our journey, all classical music explained, because it enables us to read music. Now, if you haven't done this for some while, maybe not since school, I'll remind you that classical music is written on lines like this. Basically, if you can see lots of stuff on the lines, that means the music you are looking at is hard music. If you can see lots of lines, but no stuff, that generally means you're drunk. Now, when I was at school, we had a remembering thing to remember where the notes were. It was this, every good boy deserves favours. Maybe you had that fudge, fruit, football, all the F words. Well, maybe not all the F words. Well, I thought it's the 21st century. We can update that. Got some different versions. Here's one. Expel gynaecologist blames diaphragm fiasco. Anybody have that? Went to a particularly liberal school. Here's one for any meat eaters. Eat ground beef die foaming. And my all time favorite, everything George Bush did freak me out. Ah, maybe you've got some of your own. If you have, please leave them in the comments down below. Now the spaces between the notes in English conveniently spell out the word face, F-A-C-E. So to remember that, here is a picture of my face. Then at the beginning of the music, we have numbers which explain how the rhythm of the music works. These are called the time signatures. Here are some well-known time signatures, 2, 4, 3, 4, and 4, 4, or to give them their new metric equivalents, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and 1. Explains why Britain is leaving the EU. Now you do get more complicated time signatures like this, 5, 4, 10, 16, 47, 30 seconds but nobody ever uses them because nobody can count them. For example, there's a famous piece called Take 5. It's called Take 5, not because it's in 5-4, which it is, but because it took them five takes to even begin getting it right. This is Take 1. <laughs> Now, don't be spooked if you haven't done this for some while. We're all vaguely familiar with the technicalities of music. For example, the human heart actually beats in 2-4. It does. Listen to this. Happy with that? 2-4. Yep. Oh! <laughs> and I'd like to thank my late grandmother for that recent recording. It's a joke! <laughs> it's a joke. It was my grandfather. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this brief introduction to classical music. If you have, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave whatever comments you want. Either I or my butler will delete them all. Thanks for watching. See you next time.